Hello from Fairshare IT Services. This short demo shows you how Timesheet application is configured for Fairshare IT Services as a company. I have logged into Timesheet application using my admin user ID. You can see that in the bracket, I am admin here. So, you know, these are different sections on the dashboard. Those I will explain you in one of the next videos. So firstly, there is no business without client. So let me go to manage clients. So only admin can can do this. So here I'm going to add add a client. You see the button on the right. I'll add a client. I'll mention here as uh, say demo client one. And then of course I can give the address that is required, the phone number, some mobile number, email address, then the website. So many of these fields are optional. So don't worry, you can you can leave those blank. Then I'm not going to click on his sysPro and his uh, WPMC. I'm going to explain that uh, maybe in one of the next videos as this is very specific to fair share IT services. And then I'm going to create client. So once the client is created, you can search for the client from here and then dynamically it will show up here. So now you can always edit any details of the client using this uh, pencil icon. Uh, this one I'm going to show you a bit bit later in this video itself. You know, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on demo client one. So once I cl click on demo client one, I can create a project under that client. So let's say that particular client wants to make a web portal from us. Then I'm going to click on add project. Here I will mention demo demo portal portal one. And here I can add uh, some description here. I can add start date and end date. And then I can click on, I can put in some remarks and all that. I can, you know, mark the project as closed or open. I can just create the project. Once I create the project, I can go back and I'll see that under demo client one, I have these projects. And of course I can create, add more projects like, you know, demo portal two, for example. But in this case, what I'm going to do is that click on demo portal one. And then under that portal, I'm going to add a task. I'll say, say, for example, requirement document. I'll say detail doc. Yeah. Then this is the important part here. The granularity is right up to the minutes. I'm going to say, say, let's say, for example, 10,000 minutes and I'm going to create the task. Okay. So after I create the task, you'll see that the hierarchy here is demo client one, then projects, then demo portal one and right up to task. And I can, of course, create more tasks here. Right. So. Now, now I'll come back to this particular icon that I promised you that I'll, I'll explain you here. I can assign this particular task to one of our employees. And, and of course, I'll show you how the employees are added. But you know, here I can, I can simply say, like, for example, say Pita at fairshare.tech. I click here and then I can add more employees if I want to. And I'll say assign, right? So here, because in this part of the demo, I'm using my own ID. Uh, I'm going to add my ID as well to the task table. Okay. So any at fairshare.tech assign. Yeah. So task is assigned to selected employee. So now two employees will be able to enter timesheet for this particular task. But please note that they, if I add one more task here, say for example, uh, development or testing, then for that task, these two employees won't be able to enter timesheet. I will have to again click on the corresponding user icon here and assign those employees to those particular tasks. But if I go at the projects level and then at project level, if I click here and then assign this project to those employees, then all the tasks under that project, the employees will be able to enter time. But again, if there is a demo portal to project here, those employees won't be able to enter time against that project. Then that brings us to clients. So in the clients, if I go to demo and if I click on this icon and then add employee there, then for any project demo portal one, demo portal two, and all the tasks under is those employee will be able to enter timesheet for all the projects and tasks under that client. So this is how the hierarchy is maintained, uh, like in our timesheet application and, and, you know, it makes our life uh, very easy, right? So this was about adding clients, then adding the employees is also quite easy. So. First thing first, like what needs to be done is that 
the employees need to first sign up using their own email id to timesheet application once they sign up then they get like a like a proper instruction about uh, you know what are the steps to be followed to make sure that they are to ensure that they are valid employees of fair share so those steps are followed and you know proper instructions are sent to them like manually but once that is done the once that is done like they can become an you know an enter time like here in their in the timesheet application so one of the first tasks that uh, that needs to be done by admin is that here you know you can enter the the email address of a new employee and click on add icon so once you click on the add button then that particular email the one i uh, just spoke about is sent to the to the employee and employee becomes like part of this so now once employee is part of this you can assign that particular employee the role like for example in this case like i am admin let me search my own email address ani for example so in this case my role is admin but if i change this role to say member or manager then th there are a lot of things like which are which you see here like i won't be able to do then uh, one more thing is that send time sheet reminder so what happens is like we have set a rule that if the employee doesn't enter time sheet like what the within like a day or two then he won't be able to enter time for the previous number of days right but of course you know like admin is able to change that that particular setting by allowing the past entry for past few number of days so unless like this is done employee cannot enter the time is locked and then that is considered as holiday we are very very serious about about this because nobody remembers what they have done say 5 days ago actually right there are so many things that everyone is doing so that's why we are very particular about it so you know something like this can be done now how does employee enter time sheet so that is very simple let me though i am admin i also need to enter time once in a while so if i click on time sheet then then let's say if i search for demo right then as as i told you i can see the see the time sheet here so i can choose let's say let let's say monday i clicked here and then i entered time as 30 minutes and then in the remark i said made time sheet video time sheet video right and then i clicked on save then this 30 minute like shows up here so so this is the way employees can enter time sheet and they can of course like go back and forth so if i go back then you will see that i am not allowed to enter time for anything before friday uh, you know a previous friday and all and and but, but i can enter for saturday sunday because today happens to be 9th of uh, may uh, monday so i can enter for these two days like i am allowed to do that right now let me go back to the dashboard on the dashboard like you'll see that these are the employees that did not enter time as per our uh, requirement they have you know they have kind of lapsed in terms of uh, like entry and of course they won't be able to enter time and then they will have to come back to me as admin so that like i can uh, i can allow them to enter time sheet and of course they will have to explain me why they did not enter uh, time sheet on particular date right then here you will see the list of uh, tasks that are over budget time so time sheet like is al alerting me and i can always go back and then check like why why this is like over budget was it because it was budgeted incorrectly or people there was some unproductive work that was done and these are like my task so you know my task as a, as in uh, you know me as a as a staff basically so what what i have done and these are the reports that are that i can generate so for example if i click on the the employee time sheet then uh, then you know you will see that for a particular employee i can i can clearly see here how much time that particular employee has worked so let me take like a proper case so if i go to say let's say uh, yeah let's say this particular employee that i can see that you know she has worked for more than 100% in the previous month i can of course change this uh, from date and to date and i can get like more reports like this and if i am if i am you know concerned about a particular day then i can always click on say for example this one and check the the reported uh, what are the remarks for that particular reported time so so this is like a quite a detailed report again let me go to dashboard and then like you know this is very imp you know important report billable report and this is something that we keep on using like all the time so like for example here if i go to say let's say riyan for example right let me that's a good example lmn opqr let's say riyan then for the month of may 
like you know you can see that uh, like you know this particular employee has worked worked on you know this for 31 years 31 hours so it is only like nine days in this month so that's why you see like this but of course i can go back and then choose uh, from 1st of april to 30 30th of april and then uh, click on go and then this report shows up as you can see like you know this is the only project that this client has this particular employee has worked on the employee has worked for 145 hours and then like you know so so this report i can always download as excel so if i click click on this report it is downloaded as excel and they can then i can attach and send it to like the the client so you know this generates a lot of trust uh, like with the clients that is first thing and the the most important thing is that it is becomes very easy for uh, management also to monitor what all is going on so so this is the general setup and this is how the timesheet application works for fair share it services Thank you so much.